Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today has been a day, but we have the new red velvet comeback. We have some red wine. Let's just go. If you're new here, hello. I've got the red velvet MV right here. We're going to react and then afterwards we're going to pull out the fashion, the concept, the aesthetics, the visuals, all of that good stuff. And if you want to learn more about my fashion background, I've left a little blurb in the description box. Let's go. First some wine. Ooh. This is already so interesting. I'm so intrigued. Like the classical music, what is going on? I love this already. This is so red velvet all over. What is going on? We're back, cute, chaotic delights. What an entrance. What a line. No shit. Soggy looks stunning. The song is very interesting. Ooh. This set is really interesting as well. It's reminding me of, I think, forgive me for this, I think it's the Grand Palais in Paris where they always have like the big Chanel shows. They all look incredible. The blush. Yes. Right, in this moment, play my rhythm. The song is really interesting, with, like the classical music in the back of it. Don't miss this moment, baby. I'm definitely getting like this whole fantasy vibe going on. I don't know if there's like an Alice in Wonderland kind of vibe as well. I don't know, just because of like, how crazy like the props are, the extras are, the sets are. Do you know what I mean? Is anyone else getting like a low-key Alice in Wonderland vibe? It's like every single look is so different. There are so many different references. Like Yari, all of them and these beautiful like vintage princess moments, solgies, like that boat hat with the pearl strap, come the fuck on. Like, come on. This is weird, I'm like, is she flying? Is she swimming? What? Pop more champagne or yours? I really love the black and white looks, they're so simple. They're so good. <sighs> Ooh, that move, come on, bitch. No. That is so satisfying, the way that comes aligned and then split, yes. <laughs> This is so weird, Irene, stunning as always. This is giving me everything I needed. Also, I just need, I wanna match um, Solgi's red wine lips, so don't mind me. Like Black Swan, like there are so many references. Ooh, the rap, yes, bitch. Where we should we spin the clock? Let's start again. This paint effect is making me think of the 80s video. I can't remember the name. 
This is such an interesting song. I'm just, I'm obsessed with this set. I'm obsessed with that set of looks. I'm left wanting more. I don't want this song to end. Keep going. Oh, that was so cute. Mm. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's reaction, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a future upload. I'll marshal that. Give the video one of these. Feel the rhythm in the song itself, so, so interesting. I don't feel like I've heard a K-pop song like this, that classical sample in the background and then like the beat over it and the fact that you're getting like different levels of that song in the background. Sometimes you can really hear it clearly like in the intro and then towards the end, but in the middle it kind of like faded out. Starting with the opening looks, I'm straight away getting a music box vibe. You know that when you open it and you have that figurine spinning, in the middle. I think that's the vibe that they were going for from the few concept pictures that I've seen. And when you first look at these looks, you think, oh, they're matching. But when you actually look at the details, you realize that they're not. Looking at the skirts, they're the same cut. We've got this full circle skirt, the chawl underneath, which has that volume. And it looks like the circle skirt is slightly lower in the back, just so you know, it gives you like extra coverage when it comes to the ass. And then when we look at the top, the tops are slightly different on each member. Solgi, for example, has the ruffle collar. And then Joy has that square neckline, which reflects the shape of that leather bustier over the top. And then when we actually look at the leather bustiers, to me, it looks like Solgi and Wendy have the same one where it cuts under the bust, very that like GOT styling that we see. And then the other members, they have the ones that come up slightly higher and they're slightly longer as well. And it's just the juxtaposition. I know it's red velvet, I always say fucking juxtaposition, but it's just how they're styled, okay? Don't take shots every time I say juxtaposition, please. Because it'll be said a lot, <laughs> but I'll drink because I said juxtaposition. It's just the juxtaposition of the very soft, full, frilly skirts, blouses, with that then very hard black leather bustier, the black boots. Again, it's the juxtaposition of hard and soft. Red Velvet always do it so well, and that's what I love about these looks. There's always a twist to them. These looks are stunning, and it just fits the opening music so perfectly well. Let's jump to the blue and pink looks where I said the set looked like they were in the Grand Palais, and what I really like about these looks is I feel like we're getting this like low-key noughties vibe coming through with the cuts. For example, Solgi's, that tie blouse in the front, the crop top, and then she's got the trousers that are sitting quite low on her hips. I feel like this is like such a classic naughty silhouette. It's making me think of like the simple life, that kind of vibe. Like now I've said it, do you see it? And I think it's also the combination of the pastel pinks, the pastel blues, the different saturations of pinks and blues in the set of looks is so beautiful. But then it's also like, the watercolor kind of like tie-dye prints. It just adds to that early noughties vibe for me. When we actually look at the pieces that make up this set of looks, they are actually very similar. All of the members are in crop tops. Solgi and Irene have the crop tops that tie in the front. They add that volume in the middle. And then we've got four members in skirts, all different types of skirt. Wendy's is definitely giving me like an early noughties vibe. The fact that it like comes down and it's got that like layered ruffle giving us like a low key rah rah vibe. I really love Joy's in the middle, the matching blue set, that beautiful like watercolor print with the different levels of blue in it. And there's like a laciness to it. I don't know whether it's lace or if it's like a burn out effect. And when you burn out a fabric, put a chemical on it and it burns the fibers away. So it gives you like sheer panels within the pattern. And I feel like we can see that here on her arm and I love the mini skirt with that cropped shirt and then she's got that metal belt on the waist again another like naughties like staple staple piece the only thing I wish is that the cropped shirt is a bit longer I feel like where you can see like the little like um bralette underneath I feel like we just could have done with that like shirt like coming down a bit longer but that's just my opinion Next up, let's talk about like the really soft, beautiful, romantic gowns. Probably my favorite set of looks. Might come to a shock that it's not the black ones, but this set of looks is just so beautiful and every single member has like a completely different vibe going on. My favorite hands down is Solgi, that boat hat with the pearl chain, the bow in the back, the elbow length gloves, this beautiful, 
full strapless gown, the new look Dior kind of inspired silhouette on the skirt, the nude heels. It's just so stunning and the styling of it as well. Like when would you ever see like this kind of hat with this style of dress, but like the pearls, the hair, like everything, it just gives it this very like decadent, incredibly feminine vibe. I am obsessed. And a detail I really love of Soul Gies in the close-up shot when she turns and she's got the earrings that are pearls and then she's got the white and blue pattern on that enamel piece. I assume it's enam enamel, enamel, anyway, at the bottom. And it makes you think of like China plates. It's just that little very subtle pop of blue in the outfit. It just finishes it perfectly. And like the blush across the nose. Okay, I need to stop fanboying. Stop it. When we look at these looks as a whole, there's definitely like a peaches and cream kind of vibe going on as well. Like Joy and Irene in the more like white looks and then the other members in the more like peachy tones. And every single dress is like a completely different silhouette. Every single dress as well seems to have like a completely different era about it as well. There's like something about the dresses that just has like different nods to different eras. That's why I'm looking at them anyway. Like I said about Solgi's having that like kind of like 50s, new look Dior-esque silhouette but then we look at Irene next to her and she has this very full like ball gown very snatched in at the waist it's definitely giving us that kind of like Regency era kind of vibe like you could, you could imagine the stress in Bridgerton basically what I'm trying to say do you know what I mean do you see it do you see it do you see it, do you see it? and then finally the all black looks the black looks the same as like the peaches and cream set of looks that we've just spoken about Every single member has a completely different vibe going on, a different level of accessories, like how grand the looks are. Like, do you know what I mean? Like Wendy's look is very kind of like, we're going for cocktails, cocktail party vibes. But then Irene's look, we're going to like a ball. Solgi, she's giving us like evil empress kind of vibes. Do you know what I mean? Joy and Yeri's black looks that we don't really get to see much of, apart from in the group shot towards the end. and. Both of their looks looked so beautiful as well. I wish we got to see more of them. I think my favorite though has to be Irene's. It's just the fucking decadence of it. The giant, giant layered skirt, the belt with the pearl buckle, all of the pearls around the neck that really accentuate that sweetheart neckline. It is so over the top. And then she sat on like the boat made out of the crystals. It is epic. Red Velvet, Feel My Rhythm is a beautiful song. Like I said, I've not had a K-pop song like this, like the classical sample in the background, it just does something. And Red Velvet always have an incredibly interesting concept, a beautiful MV and a beautiful song. And Feel My Rhythm is no different. I'm so excited to see the live performances of this and what outfits they bring to this stage. Let me know in the comments what you think of this MV and what you think of the styling. But what you should do next is go check out my twice world tour fashion review. I'll leave that in the top screen here as well as linked in the description box. But thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You are the best, like the best. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.